Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a video. I thought I would show you this ivy tool that I've made. A uh, very quick ivy tool. It's not highly detailed. It gives you a rough idea how to create um, some ivy or vines for close-up shot. Uh, not for close-up shots, sorry. For maybe some distant vines or something. Not really for close-ups, but it will kind of give you the look of ivy. Uh, all in Houdini, I'll quickly show you the tool that you will be. I'll walk you through. Um, yeah, here it is. I have a curve that I draw. Start off just by drawing a curve. Resample the curve. Um, so that, before simulation, you can just sweep the curve. Uh, I've created a circle here. I'll just make this background dark so you can see it better. Um, and I've copied it over um, so that when I sweep it along I get there's two two shapes so that I can sweep it and then I can add down here add some twist full twists I've got 10 and you know you can play around with this have how many twists you want uh, it's important that you have the two circles for that then select some random points keep by random chance um, add a p scale attribute I have two p scale attributes here that I've added so I've got one that's given me big leaves one that's given me small leaves um, so that I can control the probability of the big leaves um, here so I can randomize the size of how big my small leaves are and then add the big leaves in um, here and I can randomize the minimum scale the probability of one of these being used um, so I can control all that and yeah just merging it back into the vines uh, for simulation I just simulate the curve that I draw with some vellum hair, add a pin group, and yeah, just feed that back in. We're just simulating this curve here. Feed it into the sweep node. Make sure you have this attribute delete, um, otherwise, you, it doesn't work. So, attribute delete, just delete all the attributes. Um, yeah, a uh, quick Oh, uh, sorry, I'll quickly show you the leaves. I'm using the labs leaf generator here. You can use anything, just copy it to the points. Make sure your origin is set properly at the end of the leaf, that's important. Then, copy the points, you've got this quick ivy vine generator tool. Hope you enjoyed that, and see you next time.